Good day everyone, I'm Saril Anne Pontanilla from BSC 3B Mathematics. So for this video, I will going to discuss Wilson Theorem. And John Wilson is born on August 6, 1741 in England and he died on October 18, 1793. John Wilson is best known for Wilson Theorem. If P is prime, then 1 plus P to quantity of P minus 1 factorial is divisible by P. Wilson theorem is named after him. And now, I'm going to give an example of finding remainders using Wilson's theorem. Number one example is find the remainder of 79 factorial when divided by 83. And then, by using Wilson theorem formula, which is the quantity of p minus 1 factorial is identical to negative 1, the quantity of modulo p. First, we will apply Wilson theorem to note that 82 factorial is identical to negative 1, the quantity of modulo of 83. When we decompose the factorial, we get that 82 times 81 times 80 times 79 factorial is identical to negative 1 the quantity of modulo 83 now we note that 82 is identical to negative 1 modulo of 83 and 81 is identical to negative 2 modulo of 83 and 80 identical to negative 3 modulo of 83 hence the negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 3 times 79 factorial is identical to negative 1 modulo of 83 and this is negative 6 times 79 factorial is identical to negative 1 modulo of 83 and then 6 times 79 factorial is identical to 1 modulo of 83 now we want to find a modular inverse of 6 modulo of 83 using the division algorithm 6 times 13 plus 5 is equal to 83 and 5 times 1 plus 1 is equals to 6 6 plus 5 the quantity of negative 1 equals to 1 and 6 plus the Bracket of 83 plus 6 times negative 13 times negative 1 is equals to 1. And 83 times negative 1 plus 6 times 14 is equal to 1. Hence that 14 can be used as an inverse for 6 module of 83. It does follows that 14 times 6 times 79 factorial is identical to 14 times 1 module of 83 and 79 factorial is identical to 14 module of 83 hence that 79 factorial has a remainder of 14 when divided by 83 and another example is find the remainder of 43 factorial when divided by 47 Using Wilson's theorem, we have that 46 factorial is identical to negative 1 modulo of 47. Decomposing the factorial, we get that 46 times 45 times 44 times 43 factorial is identical to negative 1 modulo of 47. Now, we note that 46 is identical to negative 1 modulo of 47. And 45 is identical to negative 2 modulo of 47. And 44 is identical to negative 3 modulo of 47. Hence, that negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 3 times 43 factorial is identical to negative 1 modulo of 47. Negative 6 times 43 factorial is identical to negative 1 modulo of 47. 6 times 43 factorial is identical to 1 modulo of 47. Now let's find a modular inverse of 6 modulo of 47 with the division of a logarithm. 6 times 7 plus 5 is equal to 47. 5 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 6 and 6 plus 5 times negative 1 is equal to 1 and 
6 plus bracket of 47 plus 6 times negative 7 is times negative 1 is equal to 1. And 47 times negative 1 plus 6 times 8 is equal to 1. Hence, 8 can be used as an inverse. Thus, 8 times 6 times 43 factorial is identical to 8 times 1 module of 47. And 43 factorial is identical to 8 module of 47. Hence, when 43 factorial is divided by 47, the remainder left over is 8. And that's all for this video. I hope you all learned. Thank you.